Welcome back to a further teardown that is beheading of my Haswing Protura 2.0 24V trolling motor. I already unboxed that thing and did some tests, teared down the head that is most of it and reversed engineered the innards there. Some cards here, more links in the description. I also started a project based on that thing converting it into a full fly-by-wire device that is electronic throttle control and electronic steering. Another card here, more links in the description. For that project I need to completely remove the head that is to decapitate that thing and that's exactly what we will do in this video. Enjoy! Let me first remove all the wires and probes I put in here to reverse engineer it. That's better. Now I have to disconnect the battery plus and battery minus cables. And as you might can see, these might be so two locks here, which are hopefully screwed together or at the worst riveted together. So let's get the heat shrink off here. That shouldn't be so hard and just if you're wondering, yeah, what's dangling down here is the uh, <coughs> battery indicator. Okay. Yep. Looks like a screw connection. That's nice. Okay, uh, <clears throat> I'm guessing Phillips number two. Give me a second. Yes, Phillips number two. Wonderful. Now let's see, there is, okay. No nut on the other side, that's good. And, ah, okay, so this is kind of uh, the coupling of a spade connector. Can I get you a better focus here? And maybe a little bit of zoom. That's the end coming from the battery and that's just the spade going down to the motor pot. Perfect. And now the telephone is ringing, so excuse me for a second. Sorry for that, uh, it's half a day later, it was a business emergency. Anyway, uh, the screw we just removed is of the, can you see that? Yeah, it's a little bit overexposed, of the M3 type. So uh, let's remove the rest of the heat shrink tubing real quick. And on the other side too. I want to know how yeah, <clears throat> the wire here for <sighs> the battery indicator is connected. There, I already see it. Uh, that looks kind of wild. <laughs> Yeah, it's, <clears throat> they might have been able to, uh, let me zoom in, get a focus here, to crimp the wire on or in, but they uh, just put a blob of solder here. Yeah, good enough, I guess. Okay, and I will repeat that now off camera for the other side. Done. And by the way, the soldering for the battery minus of the battery indicator is much nicer than that for the battery plus. And now we should be able to remove the head from the shaft after we screwed out that bolt that is going through and holding both together. 
that's secured on one side here in this hexagonal hole with a nut and on the other side the bolt itself uh, yeah is made for a hex key so no problem and you need for that a six millimeter hex key. Here's the bolt, no problems at all. Just taking care of the nut so I won't lose it. Perfect. And now in theory, we should be able to just lift the head off. Oh, I probably go out off <laughs> camera. Uh, let me adjust that a little bit. Okay. Yeah, you have to fiddle through the uh, cable from the controller and the battery cables, but otherwise, here's your head. And here's your shaft with the cable sticking out. By the way, the nut was of the self-securing type, so that's okay. Looking down into the shaft, we can actually see that it's sealed off by some, yeah, that's still flexible goo, silicon probably. The shaft itself has a diameter of 28 millimeters. Uh, yeah, it's displaying a little bit over, uh, 28.1 millimeters or so uh, because it's painted black okay the bolt is made of a2 stainless and has a length of 70 millimeters and the nut is also a2 stainless both seemingly of the m6 variety well that was quite easy and that's it for today. A quite short video by my standards, but we successfully beheaded our trolling motor. Next will be either some errata regarding the reverse engineering of that thing, uh, specifically how the piezo buzzer in the head was driven. Or I will build a temporary head where I can mount all my electronics and breadboards and stuff for the fly-by-wire electronics. Or we will actually start building up some of the circuitry for the fly-by-wire stuff. We'll see. Till next time. Bye.